Hello brothers and sisters. I'm back with another message. This one is bittersweet. I think it's going to confirm something to some of you though. I wasn't going to share this, but once I understood it, the Holy Spirit began to urge me to tell you. Today I had a dream. In my dream, I was standing in a house that I used to live in when I was a little girl. My father and two men were outside on the porch talking. I overheard my father say that he was being transferred for his job and that he would be moving. I knew that he had talked about the possibility of this with us, his family, but we didn't think that it was going to happen because it would be too expensive. <clears throat> my father was trying to keep this a secret because I got the feeling that I wasn't supposed to know. I opened the door and I confronted him. I asked him where he was going and he said Lafayette. He revealed that he would be leaving the family behind so that he would have a host to come back to. Then one of the guys asked him when he was leaving and he told them either tomorrow or next week. I can't remember which. Then I began to argue with my father and I told him that he doesn't have to leave everything and everyone behind. I told him that lots of people transfer and take everything with them. I said that there was no need to have anything to come back to. I could see in his face that he knew that I didn't understand, and so he didn't argue with me. I woke up frustrated and confused. Then over the next couple of hours, <clears throat> I began to understand what the dream was about. In the dream, my father was the Holy Spirit. The house that I was in was a house that I used to live in as a child. It was a familiar place which represents the world. This house has actually represented the world in other dreams, too. So I was standing in a place where I used to be, spiritually. I overheard the Holy Spirit say that he's being transferred for his job and that he's moving. He had spoken to his family about the possibility of this, but his family didn't believe that it would actually happen because it would be too expensive. This is a symbolic way of saying that the price is too high. What price? The price of coming away from everything in the world and surrendering completely to Jesus. He already paid the price for us to come away from our sin and be in his salvation, but we have a price to pay too. Our price to pay is of surrendering completely to him and being separated from the world. But the family of the Holy Spirit that was in this house, which is the world, was not willing to pay that price. I got the feeling that I wasn't supposed to know that my father was leaving and this was supposed to be a secret. I opened the door and I confronted him about it. I asked where he was going and he said Lafayette. I looked up the meaning of the name Lafayette and it means faith. So the Holy Spirit is going to a place of faith and that is heaven. He revealed that he would be going without his family, which are the family in this house which represents the world. This particular family is the lukewarm church, because as I said, they are unwilling to pay the price of full surrender to Jesus. One of the guys asked him when he would be leaving, and he told them a time that I couldn't remember. It was either going to be tomorrow or next week. This confirms what the word says about not knowing the day or the hour, but I knew that it was soon. The Holy Spirit also made mention that he was going to need a host to come back to. We as vessels are hosts for the Holy Spirit. So when he is talking about needing a host to come back to, he is saying that those who are left behind will be filled with the Holy Spirit, or at least some of them will be. As I said, this message is bittersweet. We know that there will be many who will be left behind, and through this dream the Holy Spirit is confirming that the lukewarm will be left behind because they are unwilling to surrender completely to Jesus and come away from the world. The two men that he was speaking to on the porch were both white and black. These men were his friends. Brothers and sisters, this message is about the rapture and the Holy Spirit is saying that he is leaving either tomorrow or next week. And again, this is a reference to the scripture that says, no man knows the day or the hour in Matthew 24, 36. But he is tipping his hat to the season that we're in letting us know that it will be soon and possibly very imminent. So we need to be ready. We need to be fully surrendered to Jesus. We need to be born of the Spirit of God, 
having come away from the flesh. If you have not surrendered your life to Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and if you have not received his salvation, I encourage you to do that right now. Just get in prayer and tell God that you repent of your sins and that you accept his son Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Tell him that you believe that Jesus died for your sins and that he rose again on the third day so that you may have salvation in him. Ask God to fill you with his Holy Spirit and pray that he may prepare you for his kingdom. I encourage you to read his word, the Holy Bible, daily. I encourage you to repent of your sin each time you do something that is not pleasing to God. If you have the Holy Spirit in you, he will let you know by giving you a feeling of guilt whenever you have done or said something wrong. And I encourage you to speak with the Lord daily, forming a forming and cultivating a relationship with him. You don't have to worry about trying to come away from everything on your own. The Word of God and the Holy Spirit will help you to do this. There is no more time to be fooling around. This is it. The tribulation is about to begin, and for those who get left behind, it will be the most horrible time in your life. I didn't want to give this message, but the Holy Spirit urged me to tell you so that it may encourage you and so that it may warn those who are not ready and so that each and every one of us may take a deep and honest look at our hearts and our lives. He is absolutely serious about this warning. He wants you to be ready. It's time to clean up and clean out, as Sister Mary from the channel God's Handmaiden recently said. Those of you that listen to my videos know that I don't put one out every day, or sometimes not even every week. When I put one out, it's because the Holy Spirit has given me something to say, and he's urging me to say it. A lot of the time, I give hard messages that I don't want to give, but I know that I have to. And it's because the Holy Spirit is trying to rebuke and correct because he loves us. He wants us to be on the narrow path, ready to go home. The only reason the rapture hasn't happened yet is because God has shown mercy for those who aren't ready. And even for those of us who have surrendered to Jesus, sometimes we have things in our lives that are not of God, and those lingering things need to be cleaned out before the Lord comes. We do not want to be caught wearing a filthy garment when the Lord comes to take his pure, unblemished bride. So the Lord has given us time to get things right in our lives. But the Holy Spirit is telling us that there's not going to be any more time given. Our time has run out. I hope you're ready, brothers and sisters. And I hope that we are all counted worthy to go home. God bless you. I love you. And shalom.